So let's say you want to show somebody something on your screen and you don't want to awkwardly take a photo of it using your iPhone. I'm gonna show you how to take a screenshot using your Mac so you can leave your phone out of the equation. So I'll show you the quick way to take a screenshot with a keyboard command, and then I'll show you some pro options later in this video with the screenshot app. So let's say you get an error message. You're not sure what it means or what to do with it, and you wanna show it to somebody. Put your left hand on the keyboard and hold Command Shift and then press four. And then you can let go of all of those. And then the cursor turns into a crosshair. And then you just drag a box. You click and drag from top left down to bottom right. And then let go of the clicker with the mouse and it takes the screenshot. Uh, it shows up in the bottom right as a thumbnail here. And if you leave it, it will then go onto the desktop and it'll just be an image, a file, sitting on the desktop. You can email that to somebody or whatever you want to do with that image. If you want to capture the whole screen really quickly, it's just Command-Shift-3. That captures the whole screen, and you can see if I now click on this thumbnail, it'll show me the screenshot that I just took. And you can say, done here. You also get some editing and drawing options that you can do on the screenshot itself. But when I say done, then it saves it onto the desktop. Uh, another really handy way to capture a window is if you have an error message come up, then you do Command Shift 4 to get the crosshair, and you let go of all those keys, and then just press the space bar once, and then you get this little camera thing where now whatever window you click on, it will take a picture of that window. And it's actually really cool because if you have two windows open, and then you do Command Shift 4 and then press Space Bar and then capture the one behind the frontmost window, it will capture that whole window in the screenshot, even though it's behind another window. You have two really good options if you make a mistake when you're taking a screenshot. Let's say that you go into screenshot mode with Command Shift 4 and you're about to take the screenshot, but you've selected the wrong thing, you just press escape on the keyboard. And I'm still holding the mouse here. And when you press escape, it will get you out of screenshot mode. The other really cool option is sort of a pro tip. If you go into screenshot mode and you put the top left corner in the wrong spot, then if you keep holding the mouse and then just hold the space bar as well, you can actually reposition the selection to be exactly how you want, and then you can release the mouse and it'll take that screenshot. Super cool shortcut that I just learned today is you can take a screenshot directly to the clipboard, meaning that you can just paste it somewhere with a crazy keyboard command. Let's say you get an error message. It is Command Shift Control and then four and you let go of all of those. Now, when I drag this box around here, it's not gonna create a file on the desktop. It's going to copy it to my clipboard as though I pressed Command-C somewhere. And I go into my email, make a new email, and then I can just paste it there. So that's a really quick way to get something straight into your clipboard, straight into an email if you want to send it off somewhere. Now, if you wanna have some more control over your screenshots, including uh, changing where the screenshots get saved. You can do that from the screenshot app, as long as you have uh, Mac OS Mojave or later. Just go to the Finder and then go to the Go menu, and then Utilities. And then the screenshot app is right here. You can open that. The fast way of getting straight to that is Command-Shift-5. And it opens this cool little floating toolbar here and you can choose, do you want to capture the entire screen? Do you want to capture the selected window? So here you would just click on the error message that you want to take a, a picture of. You can capture the selected portion, so then you can move and drag this selection by clicking and dragging on it, or you can grab the handles and resize, and you get some great options under this little options menu here. And then when you're ready to capture, you just click capture, and it happens. Uh, under the options menu, you can choose where to save the screenshot, desktop documents, 
Uh, I made a screenshots folder, I'll talk about that in a second. You can save to the clipboard, you can save it straight to an email, into messages, etc. Um, you can set a timer so that it only takes the screenshot after 5 or 10 seconds. Um, you can turn on or off that little floating thumbnail thing in the bottom right when, it, uh, when you take the screenshot and it appears down here for a couple seconds. Um, and this is an important checkbox, this remember last selection, because this means whatever settings you choose in here, it's going to use those same settings again for all screenshots moving forward, as long as this is checked. So I made a folder in my documents folder called screenshots. So it's here if I go other location. So then I have this screenshots folder here and I can click this and say choose. So now all screenshots moving forward are going to go into that screenshots folder. And when I say capture, then I get the little floating thumbnail. And then if I go into my documents folder and then into screenshots, that image is going to be there. I can click it and hit spacebar to get a preview. Um, and if I want to add a shortcut to this folder, I can just drag it over here to the favorites bar on the left. And so now every screenshot that I take is going to go into this folder here instead of cluttering up my desktop. So now as a screenshot pro, you can take a screenshot of the error message with command shift four and then press space bar and click on that. And then you can click on the thumbnail and you can add a big red arrow and reposition the uh, arrow like this. And you can add some text, so you can click the little T to add some text. And then you can say done to save it into your screenshots folder or you can hit the little share square here and send it straight to an email. And it attaches it to an email and you can send this to whoever needs it. Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you want professional one-on-one -on -one help with the tips in this video or with anything else in your Mac lifestyle, head to macandhome.com to schedule a consult. Action. We're going now? We're going. All right.